He's a coach and community worker who can be seen most mornings running up Cemetery Road all the way to the Pang Yard Bridge and then down Vernon Street. But last Friday, Gellis Young's morning run took an unpleasant turn. The run comes sweaty, sweaty. I see a gray, green, a gray police vehicle, a gray police vehicle coming up. On my side, so the officer look out and say, hey, wear your mask. So I stop. I see the, the vehicle haul up and stop. So I, I mentioned to the officer, officer, I they do running and physical workout. The requirements state that you don't need no mask when you are do running or riding of bicycle doing workout. You understand? So I see the policeman come out of the vehicle, open the back of the, the police vehicle, zip open one pink knapsack and take out one. Thing look like one pepper spray can out of the knapsack. So now I stand up because I try to be nice to the policeman because I figure now that then they look for obstruct me. So while standing up there, the officer come in on my face again and I start to pine. I ask you where your master. I tell that officer, I tell you again, the requirements state that you don't need no mask for running or riding a bicycle. When you do physical workout. Well, mommy, the officer, the officer come up into my face now with the, the spray can. This is the third time now they ask me, wear your mask. And it went from animated questioning to an all-out attack. No, you know the officer just wait till I blink like this, though. And as I blink and I open my eye, brother, the officer got this, the pepper spray just the spray me in my two eye, my nose, my mouth. While they don't do that, and I they try to catch my breath now, staggering back way. I, I tell one, you tell me they out there in a yard and watch the thing as it unfold. Please take me that the pipe maker will try to wash out my eyes because my eyes they burn me. I can't breathe good, everything. You know the officer, then get right in at the vehicle, slam them do, I ride right off like they not do, not now like one road cop. We verified his account from a nearby business's surveillance video but they didn't want to share it publicly. Young says he felt victimized and profiled by the cops. I feel like the two Hispanic officers, they in a, the vehicle, then come from village, then come work the night and go back home in the morning time. I feel like they just are just unlawful cops and bad mining. And I, fig, I feel like they're racist too. The lone way how they approach me and they deal with me. And I had to make one appeal to the minister a police, I need you to come. You are Chester Williams, the, the compel, because you are a very educated man too. I don't got no grievance, sir. I did invite one or two to come by the area where the thing happened and make we go inside and you watch the tape of what really going on. And if the police, they in at the wrong, brother, you need for discipline the officers there. Because the officers there, they give the police one bad name and one bad reputation out there. Sharice Halto, 7 News.